I don't know if it's just me or are these pastors getting more insane as we go on here through the last days. Yeah, we're going to talk about Pastor Douglas Wilson there at Christ Church in Moscow, Idaho in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. Yeah, this guy here, Douglas Wilson, the pastor of Christ Church in Moscow, Idaho. Not Moscow, Russia, Moscow, Idaho. Okay, <laughs> a video that he put out talking about the biology of men and women and the roles that they have. It, there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot that he said here in this 14 minute video about the specific roles and how they should be handled. I want to focus solely on what he said here about women and sandwiches. Now, I'm going to be curious here because I want to hear what a lot of the women think about the comment that was made here by the pastor because the reactions on social media have been fairly mixed. A lot of women are in favor of what he had to say and a lot of them not so much. So I'm curious to see where my viewers, you know, kind of, uh, you know, side on this issue. But in talking about the roles uh, for both genders, especially women, he even quoted the Apostle Paul as demanding, saying that the Bible actually demands that the woman, the God-given role or the use of the woman is to make the sandwiches for her man. Talking about the marriage here and everything, and he quotes Titus 2.5. He says, I can prove it to you. Goes to Titus 2.5 talks about how there are specific instructions for the younger women in this chapter in verse to keep themselves busy around the house. And according to the pastor, that means to make the sandwiches. <laughs> he was very adamant about this, but he said that there are certain cases where, you know, you can make an exception or two. And I'll, I'll talk about what that exception is in just a second, guys. But first, uh, let me take a second to mention, you know, guys, if you would like to make a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do, I'd really appreciate that. YouTube has me demonetized. They don't support me. You, do you want to send a message to them to let them know, look, we're not going to let you stop the conservative truth. We're going to support him. You guys can help me out even for as little as five bucks a month on Patreon. You can sign up there, get access to our bonus content. I even include links to the YouTube videos so you get all alerts when the new content arrives. Plus, you can comment there censorship-free, send direct messages. And hey, don't forget, I'm also on Rumble. Go sub to me there if you haven't done that already. I post there as it is. Plus, it kind of serves as our backup in case we get the boot from YT. So go check me out there. All the links are down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So, he said there are extreme cases <laughs> where the man might have to fend for himself. But, but look, these are just in extreme cases. And he said, look, for example, if you're going out to dinner with your wife, obviously your wife is not going to be able to make the sandwiches for you there at the restaurant. Somebody else is going to have to prepare the food. But don't worry, Douglas said, because... It's not a sin. It won't be looked upon as a sin to have another cook prepare your food if it's not your wife to make you your sandwich. Thank God for that. I'm so glad we have Douglas Wilson to let us know that it would not be a sin for the woman in that case to not be making her husband the sandwich. You know, he said this, that... Godly women, godly women, want to cook for their husbands. And there's nothing wrong with cooking for your husband. I know many, many wives that would love to cook for their husbands. But then he said that God has designed the godly women to make the sandwiches. He kept stressing it. It was so much focus on 
this whole sandwich thing and the whole women belong in the kitchen and, you know, because the women have to take care of the kids and they're the nurturers and this and that. <laughs> it was just really heavily focused upon as if to say, know your role. This is your role according to the Bible and I have a scripture for you to back it up. As I mentioned, a lot of comments on this, some positive, some negative. And look, and I've talked about Douglas Wilson, be Wilson before in the past there at Christ Church. A lot of controversy around this church. I mean, uh, they have been accused of many things, all sorts of different scandals, um, bullying, intimidation, many other things I don't even want to get into here, but I've covered it before in the past. What one user wrote on Twitter about this uh, described Wilson and his church as what I kind of look at them as very cult-like in their teachings, in their practices, and, you know, they're involved also with some corporations there within the town that are very shady. And look, these teachings, they can be a little scary. The way that he's saying these things and the way that he is presenting them. Um, you know, we understand that, you know, obvious, you know, biological differences between men and women. That's, we know this already. Uh, but when you start hammering down and, and, and you start going in a direction like, this is your role, you do it because the Bible says it. Mm, no, no. This guy's off his rocker. And I think it's evident, at least to me, it is. And making these sort of comments saying the Apostle Paul demands it and it's in Titus 2.5 and all this. Look, I said it. These pastors are getting more crazy as we go on here in the last days. Jesus warned us that we would see false Christs and false prophets arise in the last days and deceive many. Notice it didn't say few in the Bible. Would deceive many. And Christ's church has quite a few members, many of them are deceived. And a lot of them defended the pastor in the video, in the comments that he made. Now, I'm going to put all the links down below if you guys would like to check those out further. But as I mentioned, we are here in the last days, and I don't want to leave any video without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Maybe that is you. If you have yet to do that, I want to pray with you right now. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. Here's the first thing that you want to do right off the top. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.